Hey everyone, there is so much to talk about today, from Halo Infinite's Battle Royale, to Certain Affinity, to the new HCS build of Halo Infinite, Infection, VIP and Escalation Slayer, and so much more, so let's jump right into it. So first up today we have Infection, and Serasia, who most of today's information actually comes from, has said Infection will be coming Season 4. In the new HCS build, so many different things have been added to the game. And of course, things are subject to change, however at this point, Infection is looking like Season 4. VIP and Escalation Slayer are also getting very close to being done. The art is now done for all of the game modes. These of course will be coming in the not too distant future, but it's very interesting to see the things that are being worked on behind the scenes. Now all of this new information is from the new HCS build and it has a lot of really really good changes. The Observer mode doesn't crash as much, so the viewing experience is much better. Red Reticle is in the Observer mode now too. I still think Red Reticle needs to be on PC once they get their anti-cheat sorted, because Red Reticle, especially with the skewer, will actually show you how far to lead in front of an enemy to accurately hit them at range. Now the most exciting thing about the new HCS build is that it has the Halo 3 showcase maps on it. Yes, they're actually gonna be doing throwback maps from Halo 3 Narrows is confirmed, the rest are a surprise, so I'm so glad, and I can't wait to try them for myself September 25th, surely if they're playing on them. For the throwback tournament, once it's over, it'll be released to the public for Halo 3's 15th anniversary. Finally today, we have Certain Affinity acknowledging the secret large game mode they have been working on for over two years. So to summarize, is that they've been working on it for two years, it's for Halo Infinite, and they have been working on it since its conception and design which means they're the lead devs, not 343. And Max Hoberman, as I said, strongly believes in the Halo 3 era of loose skill-based matchmaking, social features to play with friends, something that Halo really needs. They said it's their single largest project that they're currently working on and have close to 100 developers currently working on the Battle Royale. If you had to ask me an ETA, I would say the end of next year minimum. I would love to see a flight test of it, but it's great to see finally some sort of acknowledgement to the public that yes, they are working on something big. I genuinely believe that the Battle Royale for Halo Infinite is the game's last chance to capture any sort of mainstream audience that 343 wants. Me, myself, I just hope it's a fun game mode. I hope the Halo community enjoys it, and I hope it's something fresh that I can play with my friends and we can have fun times playing it. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Very excited to try the Halo 3 throwback maps whenever they do release. Are you excited to play Halo 3 maps on Halo Infinite? What map would you like to see most? Tomorrow's video is going to be juicy. I tried Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and you guys are not gonna wanna miss it. I absolutely destroyed some kids when I was playing it. I got a lot to say about it, especially about how much companies love their strict skill-based matchmaking nowadays. But thank you all for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.